Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. I'm your host Steph and today I'm delighted to show you how to make a birria pot pie. This is a quick and easy recipe. Now let's go over the ingredients. For this delicious recipe, you'll need three to four pounds of ribeye, three to four beef bones, half an onion, four garlic cloves, four bay leaves, three cups of water, and in this bowl I soaked eight wajillo chilies. I removed the stems and the seeds, seven carrots, two to three cubed potatoes, two tablespoons of chicken bouillon, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of butter, desired amount of cheese, two boxes of puff pastry. You can also use your pie crust, or if you don't have access to either, you can use these little crescent rolls. And you're gonna need a lot of pot pie little dishes. I found these on Amazon, and Cloud will link that in the description for you. I'm gonna start by slicing our ribeye and chopping it into smaller cubes. If you see a piece of fat, go ahead and trim that off. You don't want to throw it away. We're going to place it into our Instant Pot, but nobody wants to eat a fatty piece when they're biting into a pot pie. And you should cut your slices of beef into tiny little slices unless you want a big juicy one, then that's going to be up to you. To your blender, you want to add your pre-soaked guajillo chiles, your onion, your garlic, your chicken bouillon, water, and you're going to blend until smooth. And boom, done. Place your Instant Pot on saute and allow three to four minutes so that it can warm up for us. Add your butter and allow your butter to melt. Once your butter melts, you're gonna add your all-purpose flour. And combine that quickly. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna give us a little bit of a thicker sauce for our birria because you know what happens when you do Instant Pot birria. It's nice and runny doesn't get too thick, but we need it a little bit thicker for our pot pie. After about 15 seconds, you're gonna go ahead and add your blended ingredients. And gently combine, make sure that you scrape any of the roux at the bottom into your broth. The bones are optional for you to add if you want a really rich buttery flavor, but if you don't have access to beef bone, that's okay, you can skip and keep them out. I'm gonna add about three of these bones in here so that we can get a real delicious flavor. Next, I'm gonna add the fattier pieces of our ribeye right at the bottom. Is that the fat that you trimmed off? That's the fat that we trimmed off that still has a lot of beef, so any of this that's left over, it's for your burritos, your tacos, but if you have a family member that likes the fattiness, put it in their pot pie. Next, you're gonna add your cubed pieces of ribeye your chunky carrots, your bay leaves, and you wanna give that a gentle mix just to make sure that all of your beef is well coated into that delicious sauce. Place the lid over your Instant Pot and seal the deal. Cancel your saute, and next you're gonna pressure cook for 30 minutes. I pre-cooked our potatoes for 12 minutes. What this is gonna allow us to do is to keep the form of the cube in our pot pie. Now I'm just gonna strain the excess water and set it to the side. And once you strain your potatoes, you're gonna add your cubed carrots. These are not cooked. They will cook beautifully in your pot pie. I'm gonna use a little flour to dust over our counter. I definitely suggest you take out your puff pastry 30 minutes prior to using. We have a few minutes left for our birria. So while our birria is being cooked, I'm gonna start rolling out our puff pastry. Everybody's measurement's gonna be slightly different, especially if you're using the little tin ones or if you're using these. Uh, each puff pastry sheet is gonna be good for two pot pies. Now I'm gonna start cutting my puff pastry so that it can shape to our mold. And instead of slicing it right to it, I just go a little bit over, just slightly. I'm gonna divide our pieces of pastry puff with a little bit of wax paper. That way our pieces don't stick together. We don't want them acting like Cloud and I right now. <laughs> and if you're using the crescent rolls, I really like these because not only are they easy, you just have to pinch the center, press it down, and look. This is for the top, and this is for the bottom. And boom, done. Look at how easy it is. 
And to adjust, all you gotta do is just trim the outer parts like this. I'd love to show you the one for the pie crust right now, but it's still thawing out. Uh, maybe next time? Yeah, rain check. You wanna sprinkle a little bit of melty cheese at the bottom of your pie dish. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna create another barrier between uh, the puff pastry and the cheese and the rest of your filling. Our birria is fully cooked. It tastes delicious. I noticed that the roux is not rui like we want. I need it a little bit thicker than that. So depending on what cut of beef that you use, depending on how much juice poured out of your beef, uh, you might run into something a little bit runnier. But I'm gonna fix that real quick. To a medium hot pan, you wanna add two tablespoons of butter. As soon as your butter melts, you're gonna add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and quickly combine. Once you combine everything, you're gonna allow it to cook for about 15 seconds. And before I do our next step, you guys know me, I need to switch to a bigger pot. Okay, next you're gonna add three cups of your broth. And you wanna make sure that everything is fully combined. And after two to three minutes, you're gonna notice that your sauce is very nice and thick. That's exactly what we want. Next, you're gonna add your pieces of beef, your pre-cooked potatoes and your carrots. Somebody's gonna say, how dare you? Yeah, I dare. <laughs> I dare you guys to try it, it's gonna be so good. Go ahead and turn your burner off and give this a loving mix. And now it's time to fill our little pies. Super easy. While we're filling our pies, I wanna know, what do you prefer, chicken or beef? I will tell you that I am a beef lover. What about you? Same. Just nice and hearty. And for those of you that don't wanna bake or do anything, now you have a birria stew for your family. This is birria we're talking about. Sprinkle a little bit more cheese so that when you get that first cheese pull from your pot pie, ooh, it's gonna give you the goosies. And now I'm just gonna top our pies with a little bit of cilantro and chopped onion. Next, you're gonna place your little hat over your pie and you're gonna squeeze all around the edges. If you have some of the crust hanging and you wanna be perfect about your pot pie, you can go ahead and trim that off. And then just start pressing all your edges together. Now I'm just gonna fold that over. And this is gonna assure that our puff pastry is nice and sealed because it will puff up and we want it to puff up with that beautiful pie crust. Once you do that, you can leave it like this. It's gonna look beautiful, but you can also form it just a little bit more. Next, you're gonna add a few slits to the top of your pie. And boop, one right in the middle. I'm gonna continue with the remaining and make sure that you have your oven preheated at 400 degrees. And if you're using the one with your crescent rolls, not to worry, you can just, you know, quickly do that. Give it your own design. Probably add another one over here just to balance it. And boop, all set. And you wanna bake in your center or your top rack for 20 to 22 minutes. And boom, done. Our beaded pot pies are ready. And if you see this one has a different slit, it's because it's for my goddaughter. She doesn't want any cheese on it. So that's a way you can maneuver yourself at home. Somebody doesn't want beef or cheese or certain things. You can just label it for yourself, making it easy to pick your pot pie. Mmm, it smells so good. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh, and for those of you that are familiar with our birria chili oil, if you want that traditional birria taste, you're gonna have to add a few drops of this because it has all the seasoning. And this one right here, I've been brewing for a few months. So it has really good flavor. Boom yum. And a must for this recipe is sprinkle a little bit of lemon or lime as you eat. Thank you. Ooh. So much fun in this pot pie. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. Look away. <laughs> Look away right now. This is absolutely delicious. The wait, just tell us if the crust is soggy. The crust is not soggy, Cloud. I just have to know that. It is not soggy. It's nice and crispy. Thank you, Queen. I'll even 
pull it apart here for you guys. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. It's nice and flaky Ooh, and just, right. let me yeah. dip it a little You're bit. Right. <laughs> mm. I love when you prove me right. Mm. I mean wrong. You know, <laughs> and I really do love cooking for you guys. Mmm. Mmm. And this recipe is so easy to make that you can prep your birria the day before and then bake it and boom, done. That's how we're going to do it going forward. Mm. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.